Hello, everyone. As discussed in the weekly announcement, we're going to be taking a closer look at inpatient census this week. Let's have a look. Okay, so we're going to be talking about patient census. Usually in terms of the hospital, we'll be talking about what's referred to as the inpatient census. So what is an inpatient census? Basically, it's the number of patients who are in-house, in other words, in the hospital at a particular point in time. And this only includes inpatients. Normally, we take the census at midnight, but as long as the time's the same, it really doesn't matter as long as everybody on each unit in the facility is taking the census at the same time. So each patient care unit reports the number of patients who are admitted, in other words, coming in, discharged, in other words, being leaving the facility or transferred within the hospital itself each day. Normally this is done on a computer system called the Admitting Discharge Transfer or ADT system. And then based on the data in the ADT system, this compiles a census of the facility. When we use the term transfer, people have it in terms of they're transferred to another hospital. But for our purposes, when we talk about the census, we're talking about patients that are intra, in other words, within the same hospital, and they're going from one ward to another. In other words, from the ICU to maybe a medical surgical ward. The daily inpatient census is the number of patients that are present in the unit at the census time each day and any new patients who are admitted after the census taking time and discharged before the next census taking time. In other words, the one day stays. An inpatient service day is a unit of measure. So if you think about if one patient is admitted to the unit and they're there for one day, that's one inpatient service day. So if somebody's admitted on one day and discharged the same day, that is still one inpatient day. We don't divide service days. So if they come in for one day, say chemotherapy, uh, session, that is basically one day. And it goes back to what we talked to in the last slide. We say an inpatient service day is counted for each inpatient day when a patient is admitted and discharged the same day. And again, usually we calculate adults and children separately with the newborns, so we don't have them lumped into one set. Other terms that mean basically the same thing as inpatient service days are patient days, inpatient days, census days, what have you. Total inpatient service days are the sum of all inpatient service days in the period under consideration. So how do we calculate these inpatient service days? We include all patients that are admitted and discharged in the same day. And we count them only on the day of admission. So if somebody is admitted on Thursday and discharged on Friday, they have only one inpatient service day. When we, again, when we talk about transfers, we're talking about transfers within the same facility. 
right? And we can transfer to people wherever they need to be transferred. And as it says in the first bullet point, in and out of a specific unit may not be equal. But when we look at the entire hospitals, they, the hospitals census, they must be equal. So in other words, if you transfer two patients from the ICU to a regular unit, the ICU's census will go down. The medical surgical unit will increase by two, but that will not affect the census for the entire hospital, if you will. And again, some of the things we talked about, patients are admitted and discharged on the same day are counted just on the admission date. And we see different things, admission, discharge, not counted in the census, in and out, what have you. So when we look at the inpatient service days, we're looking at the average number of inpatients present each day. And here is a formula, and you can set this up in Excel. The average daily inpatient census is the total number of inpatient service days. And we're just going to make this for adults, so we're going to exclude newborns, divided by the number of inpatient service days in a period. And for the newborns, it's much the same. The total number of inpatient service days divided by the number of inpatient days in a period. And this is where the math review that we did earlier comes into play. Right, The average daily inpatient census, the numerator, in other words, the top number of the fraction is going to be the number of inpatient service days for a given period. The denominator is the total number of days for the same period. And that's all I have for you. We'll see you online. Bye now.